The Otago Central Rail Trail Trust has negotiated the conditional purchase of the Hyde Railway Station. Trust Chair Kate Wilson has been spearheading fundraising efforts and she joins us now to talk about the importance of the purchase. Good evening. Hi. How has this potential purchase come about? The place has been on the market for um, quite a few years now um, mm. and the wonderful original owners of it after it left New Zealand Railways um, had been hoping someone would buy it and have it on site. Mm -hmm. um, we then had, we were advised through New, Ze New Zealand um, Historic Places Trust, as it was then, that they um, had heard a whispers that it might go off to a vineyard and be transported off site and they really encouraged us to say that they really couldn't, they could no longer say that they could, couldn't let it move mm. because it had been on the market so long. So we thought, oh, that would just be catastrophic. Yeah. We'd get blamed if we didn't try. So we decided to, um, uh, that the owners were very, very kind and gave us a very long conditional agreement. We've gone off to trusts and tried to raise as much of it as we can. We've raised 109,000. Yes. So we're now going out to ask the community to help us just over that line. Mm -hmm. But we haven't got long. <laughs> How much more do you need? Uh, another 15,000. Um, it's not too bad. No, but it's easy. Only, we've got an, only until the 30th of June to do that. Oh, <laughs> the, the community is going to come together now that they know about it. What is the history and the significance of this site? Uh, Hyde, well, there's a number of significances. Hyde itself is a gold mining town. It was just a place that developed really around the gold and around the railway. Mm -hmm. um, most famously for the 1940, just five kilometres south was the major train disaster in 1943 um, on the 4th of June when 21 people died um, and that was um, a train going down to the winter show and it, w it was a tragedy going too fast around a quiet corner so Hyde is not well known for the, all the wrong reasons in that regard mm. um, but on, on the rail trail it is the only railway station that's kept in its original form really and original purpose still um, with rolling stock which we haven't got anywhere else along the trail and we know that the heritage of the the rail heritage is a really important part of the rail trail experience. Mm. People love it. They take lots of photos. We've seen people post photos that they've taken. So we know that, and to lose it would just be sad. Mm. Now, if the purchase is successful, will the rail trail course be altered in any way? Yeah. Um, so when um, because that all happened before the rail trail was created, they actually took the rail trail onto a, a wee bit section of a road there. Um, and took it away from the actual alignment. Mm -hmm. So you go there and there's a curve which is unusual on the rail trail. So we want to um, put it back amongst the, um, the, the wagons that are there and um, hopefully open the doors at times so that people can get in and have a look at. There's quite an um, interesting collection of um, chattels that are in there that mm. will be yes. great. And then there's an area that we can use in other ways and we're really keen to hear how people would like to see it used. Mm. We think an exhibition space, but an artist residency would be great as well. I'm sure there'll be artists inspired by our landscapes. I'm sure there will be. Is the popularity of the rail trail increasing? Um, it's it's about 14,000 a year. Um, I th Certainly it is a key international market mm. now as opposed to just New Zealanders. I'd say 50% of them are international people coming, um, it, which bring more dollars into the country actually. Mm. Um, but I think with all the other rail trails and the other opportunities that are there, I think they will increase. Um, I think it's been a better year this year. The numbers aren't in yet though. Now you've mentioned earlier that you've received a few grants towards the purchase mm -hmm. price so far. Who have they come from? Uh, well the first one came from the combined lines and that was $10,000 and nice. barely any paperwork required. Uh, the Strathtara Community Board, 4000 3000 from the Dunedin City Heritage Trust. But what really helped it was the 20000 from the Otago Community Trust and 30,000 from lotteries. We're putting in 32,000 ourselves um, from the trust itself and we know that um, there are other parties out there. Oh sorry, 5,000 from the AAW Jones Trust and 5,000 from the Alexander McMillan Trust. You know, all really great amounts. Mm. And it's really hard out there at the moment so we're pretty, I think we've, always, we've received everything we've asked for. Absolutely, but how can the public help? Um, we've got to give a little page um, under the Otago Central Rail Trail or under Hyde Railway Station if you mm -hmm. search those. We'll happily take any d donation as gratefully received. Really nice postings, both from Australians at the moment who are giving, but also the guy and Alan who just gave some money because his father used to work there. Oh, and nice. just every bit counts. Yeah. And it is about giving a little and we'll get a great thing. Well, good luck with that. Otago Central Rail Trail Trust, Chair Kate Wilson. Thanks Thank so you. much for your time. Thank you very much.